most people, of course, know you for your literature work. And, um, you know, when we see here all this beautiful art, so that fits more into their image, maybe. But how is that all connected to uh, this deep uh, human rights work with people that are exposed to so much suffering? What's the connection for you? Well, I don't know, what, what the connection is, except that that's what I write about. Um, I always write about people who are not sheltered by the big umbrella of the establishment, people who are in the margins of the society, who, who for some reason don't belong. And that's how I felt myself all my life, that I don't quite belong anywhere. Not that I'm marginal in the way these girls are, but, but I understand the mentality of the person who doesn't belong and doesn't feel safe. And uh, it was only natural that when I decided to create a foundation to honor my daughter, it would be to do the work that I have been doing all my life, which is working with women and for women and mm -hmm. girls. Yeah. In, the, in the work with women, you know, we talked about that mm -hmm. many times, uh, you went from being, uh, let's say, a, a real activist and an author, of course, writing about them, to focusing more on the discovery of what are really feminine values and what are the qualities, feminine qualities, that our society needs, that men need as much as women, to bring you about know, a different... I don't know if you remember when we met, Walter. <laughs> uh, we met in the weirdest place, in the... In the what, what, what is the Yeah, but what was the, 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 the name of the, um, of the abbey? Oh, yeah. Um, Melk Abbey. The Melk Abbey. Beautiful. In a, a, far, a little... In, in Vienna, I think, in a beautiful, beautiful landscape. And there, it was monks and religious people, and, and somehow we two met. We were two lost souls in a corner, <laughs> eating these this little hors d'oeuvres. And you said, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm supposed to give a speech. And you said, what's your speech going to be about? And I said, well, about feminism and women. And, uh, and very softly, yeah. very softly, you said something about that men should are just in the same situation as women are. And men had to be incorporated into this, or, or something to that effect. So I started thinking about that, and I had to go to my room and redo the whole damn spe speech again, because <laughs> with one sentence, you shifted something that I had thought all my life, that this was a struggle, a sort of war for justice, for, for equality, for freedom. And suddenly I realized that the enemy was not men. The enemy was a culture, a patriarchy that had to be changed, and that men are trapped in that cartoonish masculinity that, that, that makes them so limited, just as it limits women. So, so the struggle was not against them. The struggle was to liberate us all. And you change that in one sentence. On our website, globalleadership.tv, you will find additional footage, other dialogues with innovation leaders from around the world, and also the hands-on practices that help them and their organizations to move from inspiration to real change. <laughs>